Hello guys, welcome to another video from Ecom Experts where we review Shopify apps. First of all, thanks for all the likes and subscribes and all that for last week. Uh, we're getting some traction, really love it. This week we are looking at another review app. We've done a bunch of other review as an app that we will link everywhere uh, on this video. But this week we are looking at the Shopify review app. It's made by Shopify. It has a 4.5 out of 5 uh, star rating. So we're going to look at the back end of things and how that uh, app looks and it's one of our favorite Shopify apps made by Shopify so yeah if you need reviews this might be an option for you so let's look in the back and see if you like the feel on how the app goes okay we downloaded the app from the Shopify app store and we are on this installation instruction page the app doesn't automatically add code to your team so you need to copy the code snippet and insert it in your team manually it's not that difficult so Let's grab the code and jump right into the online store and then click on Teams. Once you've found the team you want to edit, click on Actions and in the drop-down menu choose Edit Code. We want our reviews to be shown on the product page, so let's search for the product-template.liquid under the Sections tab. We will paste the snippet under the product-description. Alright, this step is done. Let's save it and go to our website to see how it's working. The step is done properly, so let's see how we can add reviews to our collection pages. So go back to the app and click on Show Instructions right under this nice little illustration. Similar process as with product pages. So let's go back to the team code and search for snippet slash product dash grid dash item dot liquid. And first, let's copy the code. If you are using the Butte team, snippets for this will be called product dash card dash grid dot liquid. We will paste the code snippet here and save the changes. Let's see if it works on our website. So it's working for stars and numbers of reviews. So this step was also done successfully. Let's go back to the app and see what else can we do with this app. Click on verify and continue. In this step, you can check if you installed the code successfully, if your store is not password protected, of course. We are on the dashboard now. Well, is it really a dashboard? It looks like an empty page. Oh, there are some buttons. We can import reviews in the top left corner, and we have products and settings on the right. Let's click on settings and try to customize our reviews widget a little. We are on the settings page now. Finally, we have something to play with. Uh, on the top right corner, we have the install instructions, import, export, and the save button. Let's start with the first step, which is auto-publish. In this section here, you can choose if the reviews are going to be published automatically. We will choose, you must manually publish new reviews, just to see it in action. Next is email notifications. We will enable it too, since we want our inbox full of emails. I mean, are you really an entrepreneur if you don't have 5,000 unread emails? Then dig so. The product review app allows you to choose your own color for the stars reading. You can choose whatever color fits best with your team. So click on custom color and we will choose some, let's say blue. The next step is customization of our review listing. In this section, we can choose whether we want to show reviews on load or not. So let's show it, why not? And we have colors of our border and dividers, which gray is okay, I guess. This is interesting. We can show between 2 and 100 reviews per page. I think 100 is a bit much, so let's go with 20. This section is also interesting. Here we can change the text of our review widget. We can change the review headline and the review link. Basically, you can change the overall look and feel of the widget. Let's fast forward to the review form text. In the review form text, we change the text of our form fields and also we can choose which fields are required, optional and hidden. We are only left with the batch text. We will only change the text to be the first to review and click on save. In the settings window, you can also uninstall the snippets from your team. Reset all settings to the default and export deleted reviews. Final check. Let's go to our demo shop and see what we have done. Blue stars on the collection page and on the product page, everything looks all right. Maybe we can test this app even more. Let's go to our dashboard and actually leave a review. Scroll down to the review widget and click on write a review. The form looks okay, it isn't too long, so let's do this real quick. Here it is, it's looking good. 
Well, that is it for the product reviews app. The app offers basic review function, import export is a nice touch, but this app doesn't allow photo update, which all right. Also, the analytics are non-existent for this app, but having in mind the app comes with no charge, it's pretty good. But on the other side, there are apps that have similar functionalities, maybe even more, for a free plan. So make sure to check out our other reviews app because you might find apps that fit you personally better. Otherwise, this is a pretty good app. All right, guys, that is it for today. That was the uh, Shopify review app. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope it gave you some insight on how it actually uh, is behind the scenes before you start installing it and realize you don't like it and then it messes up your code because when you remove it, it doesn't remove it from your code. Anyway, uh, look forward to another video. Got a whole bunch more lined up. So uh, make sure to check out our other videos, like, subscribe, and check out the rest of our channel. Cheers, man.